Today, I'm going to be installing the Ring Video Doorbell 2. Now, I'm going to be installing this onto brick, and so I'm going to have to uh, drill four holes, and they do give you the drill bit, um, but I, I'm finding it's really hard to get the depth that you need to insert the anchors. But before you start, uh, what you need to do is you need to input the, uh, they have a level, you just insert it in this little hole right here, and then uh, you'll use that level to make sure that when you mark your holes that the, uh, the level is where, that the ring video is where you need it to be and it's nice and level. They say that you're supposed to mark it or have the video camera at 48 inches or the doorbell right, right around 48 inches. I think you can go be an inch or two off, but uh, you want to be right around 48 inches. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your ring video and get it in a spot where um, it, you're not going to have the drill bit going into this the indent or into the mortar and you want so you want to place it so that it's going to have uh, enough room in each one of the bricks to secure the anchors so you make sure that it's nice and level and you can also just look at the brick and make sure it's also level now once you get it level then you go ahead and just mark the areas with a pencil, there are four of them. And make sure you get a nice good mark. And then uh, once you get that, uh, those marks, uh, then you can go ahead and start doing the drilling. Okay, the next step is uh, you're going to start drilling the holes. And, and as, I mentioned, as I mentioned, this drill bit isn't the best. You might want to go to a hardware store and get a bit that will drill in a little bit faster, but this is really pretty slow. I just use my body weight to press into the, uh, into the And so you're going to keep uh, drilling each of the four marks and uh, until you get the depth you need to insert the anchor. Now I was having a problem drilling with the uh, bit that came with the doorbell ring too. And so I went out uh, to Lowe's and bought a 732nd Bosch drill bit, and it made the drilling a lot easier. So I'd recommend doing that. I don't know, maybe I just had a bad drill bit, but I would uh, go out and buy one if it's not working very well. And this went through it really quick. Now what I did is I put a piece of tape around the drill bit, joined the length of the anchor so that I didn't drill too deep. That's a pretty good idea to, so that you don't go too far. So what I did is I went out to Lowe's again and I bought a, a new drill bit. I got a 732nd size and the drilling went much faster. Let me show you. Now you can see with this new drill bit it's going much faster than the, uh, the other drill bit that came with the ring doorbell tree. And you can see I went to the depth of the tape and I should be good to go. See how easy that was. And you'll do that with all four of your holes. And you can see I started with the drill bit that came with the ring video, but it was really difficult, so I went out and bought a Bosch 732nd drill bit. The thing I wanted to do is I just wanted to make sure that these four holes lined up. So I'm just going to uh, put the screws in in each one of the holes and just make sure it's lined up with uh, the holes that I drilled just to be kind of safe and make sure it's going to work properly. So those two work out well. Another thing is remember you've got the anchor, I mean you've got the level 
Uh, so you want to make sure that when you put it in that it's close to being level. And so you see that all four screws go in so the anchor should work well. What you do is you'll want to uh, put in the anchors and my wife bought me this nice hammer for Christmas. Yeah, we'll see how well it works. You just pound your anchors in flush. And then you'll go ahead and put all four anchors in. You can just pound them in so that they're nice and flush. So you put all four anchors in. And you see it worked out really well with that 732nd drill bit. Just put the uh, screws in. And hopefully the, they line up with the anchors. Looks like this one's a little bit off. Hopefully it'll still go in. And it looks like we might be okay. And you just get your screw, screwdriver and hopefully you ha if you have a power one. Or one of the screws a little bit into the, into the anchor just to make sure that that's in. You, know, you don't want it in very tight. And then you'll go ahead and just line up the, uh, the other screws with the anchor. Just put it in a little bit. Hopefully they all line up. Go ahead and secure the screws into the anchors. Once you get them in a little bit, and maybe just do a few turns with each one. So it's nice and snug. And one thing when you're setting, when you're measuring or marking it, make sure you get it correct so that you know that uh, the screws are going to line up. I was a little bit off, but it's still working and it's nice and secure. Just go ahead and, and install your battery. Make sure it's fully charged. And then we will, we, we, they give you two plates. Uh, we, we decided that we like the, uh, the black one, so we're going to install the black cover. Okay, so you put the face plate on. And then there's a little screw that you're going to install at the bottom. And they give you this special screwdriver to install that. Really quite simple. You just find the hole and put the screw in. You just get it nice and snug. You don't want to over tighten it. The next thing that I'm going to do is install the ring video doorbell 2 app and then I, that should allow me to put all the settings to where I want them.